Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this extra lesson I made for the homework. So today we're just going to be talking about inserting a local image that you have on your computer and how do we actually insert that image onto our website and make sure that we can use that image. So there's a couple steps involved with this. I know that this is going to be helpful for your homework. So if you don't know how to insert a local image from your computer onto your uh, notepad file that you've been making, your HTML file, um, this video will explain that. So let's go ahead and go to uh, Logo Maker that I made my little logo on here. This is just something I whipped up in like a minute. It's not anything complicated. So the steps would be, so notice I'm at LogoMaker.com. I made this logo. Let's say that that's what I wanted. So I click Save Logo. Okay. It's going to give me, pop this up, and it's going to download it. So you see right here, just downloaded it. Now I'm going to want to do a couple things. Notice that if I go to downloads, if I if I go ahead and search for that file, let me go to downloads, logo maker, should be an L. And here it is. So what I need to do with this file is I need to actually take this file and I need to go wherever I am saving my current web page. So I have my web page in a web pages folder. And I'm actually going to need to copy paste this, that file here okay so notice it's called logo maker underscore 5 x d z u x which is just some ridiculous hyper or hexadecimal name I'm gonna just name that to rename that to my logo and notice it is a PNG file here so if we look at it, it's a PNG file which is one of the valid file types remember there are PNG GIF and JPEG file types that you can use Right now, I just have uh, this logo, and now I can actually, since it's in the same folder as all these websites, I could use this image in any of these websites. So let's go ahead and open up, uh, let's just open up this random file. I'm going to open it with Notepad, right? I need to open it with Notepad. You saw, if you want to see that again, I go Open With. And then if you can't see it, see Notepad is one of the options. You've got to go Choose Another App, and then you'll be able to, I'll show you that as well, Choose Another App, and you should be able to scroll down and select Notepad. So I'm going to do that. Now this is open, right? So now, I right now have, this is just a text with, this is just an image with, a, or a notepad file with, you know, a list and an image inserted in there. So let's go ahead and say, sorry guys, give me a second. Let's go ahead and say that right now this image source says elephants.jpg. So remember, if I want to insert my image, the tag is image, and then the source of the image would be the URL. In this case, since the file is saved in the same uh, same folder, we don't actually have to give it a location, we just need to give it the name. My name was my logo.png, I believe. Let me double check. Yep. And so now I can control S this. I'll just save it really quick. So file save at save. And then let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. And there it is. So obviously that's not where I want it. You're gonna have to play around with the positioning of it and move it around into the header. But that's the basics of how you're actually going to get that image from your from your logo maker, right? You're going to save it, uh, save it, and then it'll save it here. Then you're going to take that file that it was where it was on in your download somewhere, and you're going to go ahead and put it in the same location as your web page that you're making, so your HTML file. So that are those are the steps. Uh, hopefully, if, hopefully this works for you. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know.